Grizzing your knuckles in boxing training is very common, but it can be an absolute nightmare because the next time you go to train, every time you throw a punch, it hurts. And if it's hurting you, you're not gonna be able to train to the best of your ability. And even though it is very common, there is some things that you can do to prevent this from happening. And on this video, I'm gonna tell you exactly what you should be doing to prevent the grizzes from happening. And also, if they have happened, what you can do to continue training where it's not going to affect your knuckles. And if you're new to this channel, my name's Tony Jeffrey. I'm an Olympic medalist boxer. I won seven national titles, a European gold medal. And on this YouTube channel, I give you everything boxing. Show you how to punch harder, punch faster, get better footwork, get better reactions, all that good stuff. So make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification for more videos like this. And let's just get into it. So the first thing I want to say is wrapping your hands. You should be always wrapping your hands. But just because you are wrapping your hands doesn't mean that it will prevent you from getting the grizz on your knuckles. It's all about the way that you do wrap your own hands. I've done a full video showing you exactly how to wrap your hands great you should watch it after this but basically once you've wrapped your hand it should look like this as fast as that <laughs> and when it's wrapped it should be snug pretty tight now if you see here it is tight so when I'm punching this is not moving anywhere but the common mistake is when people have it wrapped they'll have it loose and they'll be kind of like this on the knuckles and when it's loose on your knuckles, that's going to cause the friction. And it's the friction is part of the reason why you get grazed knuckles. So as you see there, that's loose. So now when I punch the bag, that can move up and down. And if that's moving up and down, the friction from the movement from the punches is what is grazing your knuckles. So make sure that when you've got this on, it's nice and snug and tight around your knuckles. Not tight where it's stopping your blood because that's another problem for another video that will cause. But tight enough when you punch, it's not going to move. So have the hand wraps on good. Then from there, you need to put your glove on like this. Look at me, full of magic today. And then once you've got your glove on and you are punching the bag, a couple of ways that you might be hitting the bag. If you're hitting the bag and the bag is like spinning, you're hitting it incorrect. The bag shouldn't be spinning if you're throwing a hook. Even, I see sometimes beginners, they'll be throwing straight punches and they'll be skimming the bag. If you're skimming the bag and it's going around, again, you're grazing, your hand is moving around in the glove. And talking about gloves, it's important that you have great gloves. I love these gold strike gloves from Sanable. And you can get 10% off these if you use code TONY10 at the checkout. These are the gloves I'm always using. So now anyone who I wrap their hands and let them wear these gloves, they never ever get grazes on their knuckles. Now it's time to take these off. Now the wrap's off. Just like that. So you've got grizz on your knuckles and you're thinking, what can I do? I can't hit the heavy bag. It's really hurting me. Well, what you should do is let them rest. Let them heal. But that doesn't mean you should stop training because there is lots of different boxing workouts that you can do even if you've got bad hands. And I created this video right here showing you four different methods of training that you can do if you've got bad hands. So click here and watch this video next. It will really help you. 